Perfect. Um, and now that it's 11, we can go ahead and get started. So good morning, everyone. My name is Annie Fink, and I am the Marketing Specialist for Viva Select California. Thank you for joining us for today's Tech Talk on Viva Select Licensing. We will be doing a follow-up webinar on these topics on April 14th, and we invite you to, jo to join us. Now I would like to introduce your presenters for today's Tech Talk, Tim Brost and Daniel Rorada, Product Specialist with Aviva Select California. Good morning, Tim and Daniel. Good morning. Hey. Yeah, thanks, Andy, for that introduction. So as Andy mentioned today, we're going to talk about uh, Aviva Flex license. Commercial model presented for Aviva Software. And just to kind of kick things off, right, the perpetual model that I know a lot of our customers know very well uh, is here to stay, right? That's still always an option. Um, but today for this tech talk, we're going to be talking about Aviva Flex, the value it brings, and why we see a lot of our customers making either starting out new on Flex or existing customers that are on customer first support or maybe off customer first support making that transition over to Aviva Flex. So from a high level, Aviva Flex is a subscription-based consumption model in that it is a you subscribe to a subscription contract, right? Either one, three, or five years. And upon you know submitting a PO for that subscri subscription, you'll get a bucket of credits. And with that, you have access to the entire Viva portfolio and you can allocate those credits to a wide variety uh, or any of our products in our, in our solution portfolio. And the nice thing about it is that if you need to exchange out credits, you can, or, or exchange out solutions rather, you can return licenses, redeem the credit value that they are worth, and then apply them for other licenses. And that's some of the high points, right? Some of our other reasons is our customers are saying um, is they get more ownership of their licenses, knowing what they have, what they have currently in use. Uh, kind of seeing that in a user-friendly dashboard is, is something that's valuable to our customers as well. Things like uh, licenses, um, you know, capital costs, which we'll dive into more in, in, in a minute. Um, but one of those things is, you know, the ability to have kind of a lot of value in terms of what you can get from a license, what is included in a license and special things that are only available in Flex. So Daniel, you know, I'd like you to kind of elaborate on that a little bit. Absolutely. So generally speaking with Flex, what we're trying to do is simplify to some degree. The purchasing process with Aviva is fairly straightforward already. You talk with a salesperson, you find out what it is that's best for your application, and then you submit a purchase order after submitting a quote, and then we give you what you need. But we're looking to simplify even more so. So Tim briefly mentioned this Flex portal. The idea being behind this new technology is that you can open up the Flex portal and choose whichever products you'd like. And if you have enough Flex credits, you can buy something on the spot. So with the old customer first model, some people still find value in that. But with Flex, what we're looking to do is simplify, simplify, simplify. You open up the portal, you buy what you need. If you don't have enough credits, we'll talk about this in a little bit. If you don't have enough credits, uh, you can submit an additional purchase order to us for more credits. But basically what we're trying to do overall is, is give customers the capability to buy what they need now. Yeah, that sounds great. And you know, some of the things are unique things with, with the licensings themselves, um, you know, provided that are only available in Flex. Um, so are there any kind of new or, or unique value propositions into the licensing? It's a great question. Um, yes. So with Flex, we've introduced a few new features to the purchasing and licensing process. One piece of feedback that we've gotten from our customers historically is that there are certain customers of ours that don't want limits on some of their licenses particularly limits involving IO count or tag count or client count. 
And so we've listened to that feedback and we want to respond and we have responded. With Flex, you will now have the option if you're the right type of customer who needs this option. You will be able to get unlimited IO count, unlimited tag count, unlimited client count on something like System Platform or something like Edge. Whatever it is that you need, if you need to go unlimited, we will support you on that. That's great. And, you know, I think one of the nice things about those licenses is that, you know, it will grow as your company grows, right? So you don't need to worry about, you know, as my company grow, well, how much more software do I have to purchase? Well, I've already got the license that supports it, right? I can just max out, um, you know, the license will support it. And so I think that's a, a really good value proposition. Um, when it comes to, you know, I think the, the natural conversation of, of a subscription model is, I think, you know, lowering costs, right? The ability to, you know, get in for a lower buy upfront cost. Um, so, you know, maybe Daniel, you can, you know, speak to that and maybe the advantages of, of locking in a, a, a multi-year agreement uh, with Aviva Flex. You're right. So, I mean, imagine you're coming up with a, a one-year or five-year budget, right? Or a three-year budget, maybe. But let's let's just take the hypothetical example of creating a one-year or five-year budget for your business, right? So maybe you want to look somewhat short-term or maybe you want to look somewhat long-term or both. The idea behind Flex, as you mentioned, is we offer one-year, three-year, and five-year contracts. And within those Flex contracts are, first of all, the technical support that you as a customer probably already want. Technical support is included in your flex contract, which by the way, also simplifies your purchasing process a bit more. Now you don't have to worry about, okay, what's the initial capital expenditure for my licenses, but then I also have to budget down the road for my support contract as well. No more. That's all now included in your flex contract, right? You have one price and that price has a locked in approximately 3% increase per year. And so what does that mean for a given customer? Well, if you purchased a flex contract from us in this previous year, and generally inflation now looks to be about 6%, if you locked in a contract at 3%, which is what I've generally seen in many flex contracts, it actually means that you would have saved 3% on your contract in 2022 because inflation uh, was higher than your contract's price increase. So what we're trying to do, again, is simplify, but we're also trying to provide transparency in all of these contracts. If you go with Flex, you know what your price is every single year. You know how much that's going to increase. You can look at the percentage increase uh, yourself. And what that I think allows you to do is create both short and long-term budgets for Aviva software in a much simpler way. You know how much you're going to need to pay. You know how much you need to allocate in your budget in the short and long term. We're just trying to make it simpler. Yeah, I think, I think kind of um, making it possible where you can lower the risk and, and make more variables known and fixed uh for you know proper budgeting i think is a, is a pretty good value proposition um so some of the, the other things that are available in flex are you know even an even newer commercial model right i know daniel had, had talked about you know unlimited clients and unlimited licensing and we've even taken this a step further uh with a new offering called operations control and really what that does is you know hey you end user tell us how many, approximately how many named users you have working in your facility. You give us the number of named users. We give you a, a price and you have all you can eat to our software, right? You can check out as much licensing as you'd like to support your system. Um, as long as that named user count is, you know, within, you know, the, it, your named users are within the count that you've allotted for. Um, you can consume and deploy as much software as you as your business requires, which I think provides a ton of value. You're not having to worry about, oh, if I change my architecture or if I expand my, my solution to, you know, maybe, you know, go beyond the physical capabilities of what uh, a computer might be able to do. Uh, I know that the operations control bundle can cover me license wise, right? 
even more, you know, fixing that cost and known quantity of how much I'm going to be paying in Aviva software. Um, but with that, you know, I think, you know, going back to, you know, the flex portal, I think, you know, we kind of alluded to it, but, you know, there's a complete transparency into all the software solutions that Aviva has to offer. Um, and maybe, you know, the, not not just what they are, but what they cost in credits. So Daniel, maybe you can explain on, on that a little bit more. Absolutely. In the Flex portal, I know we've we've talked about this briefly, as a customer, you will now be able to go into the portal and just see how much each piece of Aviva software, whatever licenses you need, you'll be able to see the cost of a given piece of a given license or a given piece of software in credits. So if you've already got a thousand flex credits, for example, and you see three products that are 300 credits each, you as a customer can now just go in and buy. It. You don't have to submit a purchase request. You don't have to get a quote request. You don't have to get a purchase order. None of that. You just buy what you need. And so Again, going back to this idea of, simpl of simplification, if you've got the credits, great. You can buy anything that is available to you, anything that you have the capability to buy with the credits that you have. If you don't have enough credits, that's okay. You can either trade in a license maybe that you're not using, which can also potentially be a nice thing, right? If you've got excess licensing, we want to take care of that for you as well. Or you just submit a quote to us. We'll make sure that we get you a new number of credits. Hey, I need 2,000 more credits. No problem. We'll get you the credits that you need. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's a great proposition. And, and to kind of add on to that, right, not only can you buy, you know, without submitting a PO, but once that, that order gets processed, you can download those licenses directly from the Flex portal. Um, so you don't need to wait for, you know, uh, you know, Aviva representative to send you your licenses. You get notified, hey, your, pro your, your order was processed. You can download those licenses directly from that portal. If you lose those license files for whatever reason, maybe you're rebuilding a machine and you can't find that license file, you don't have to go to support and have them reissue a license or resend a license. You can then just re-download that license directly from that Flex portal and kind of having that more ownership of your licenses and more transparency of the entire process uh, with being on, on this uh, Flex commercial offering. So something I want to steer towards is, you know, obviously I think it's fairly simple for a customer who's new, new to Aviva software and wanting to be on a Flex contract, right? You submit a purchase order, you get a bucket of credits, and then you allocate that credit, those credits for software. Well, how do our existing customers get on Flex? Well, there's two different options, right? For customers that are on a existing customer first uh, contract, there's a program uh, where we can convert that customer first contract into a flex commercial offering. Um, so upon submitting, basically what happens is we uh, assign a credit value to your existing install base and uh, you receive those credits and the nice thing is, is that upon submitting that PO, you don't have to change your, out your licenses if there's no need to, right? If you want to keep a majority of your licenses as is, don't want to mess with production, that's fine. Your licenses will still run, still be able to be upgraded and operate as is. But let's say there's a business case for me to, you know, hey, I'm, I'm running up, you know, I've got like 20 clients and I want to get, use that unlimited option that Daniel was talking about earlier. Well, I can return those credits or return those licenses, uh, those client licenses that I've been using all this time, redeem some credit value for those existing licenses that I've already purchased, and then apply those credits to those unlimited licenses so that I can really optimize my expenditure when it comes to the Viva licensing. Um, when it comes to a, a customer that's not on support, Right, you you can use our monetization program, which basically um, takes a percentage of your license and in, license install base that's not on support, applies a three year um, uh, contract to that percentage, um, and you can then 
um, be on that flex contract, again, receiving credit value for those licenses um, and kind of being in that same boat as the uh, customer first customer. Now being able to redeem licenses, maybe they're no longer in use. Um, maybe it's a deprecated piece of software. Uh, you're, the way you've done business has changed and you no longer need that component. Um, you can re return those licenses, recoup some of that value, that previous uh, investment and apply that to something new uh, for, for current or future projects. And, and I think the last thing that I wanna cover on, and I think it's, you know, you know, just make a one statement on it is that within Aviva Flex, even though it's a subscription model, right? We're never, you know, we're never gonna turn off your licenses, right? So those licenses are are fixed, are running. Um, there's Aviva's not doesn't have a policy of turning off licenses when there's a negotiation on the subscription contract. Um, those licenses um, so you know that there's a security in the model uh, when it comes to your production system. So with that, I'd like to thank everybody for joining. And um, you know, if there's any questions, you can enter in questions now. Or if not, we'll uh, try and get back to you. And uh, thank you for joining.